Hello everyone, and welcome to one of the most, if not the most, dreaded episode of all, the AE2 episode. So, there's going to be a lot of, like, really confused moments probably, and a lot of just, what? huh? What's going on? I don't quite understand. There's going to be a lot of that. So, if you are into that, and you want to see the progression and everything, and watch me bang my head against an imaginary wall for a while, then you're in the right place. If you do not want to see me suffer, probably going to be one you might want to just be like skimming over or just kind of skip all together. We'll see. But anywho, we're going to go ahead, hop on into this, and get our silicon chickens out of here because they've been running for a while now. Running for a while now. Let them get some silicon up in here. And we're going to go ahead and start our AE2 process. Now, because I haven't started the build part of everything yet, right? <clears throat> we just have like this really big area, sort of. Um, we're not going to stress too much about it, okay? So the idea here is we're just going to go ahead and put the bare bones requirement for what we need to get running into a proper AE2 system. I think I have enough. We're going to leave this one as is, so I have something that's intact, that's workable. But we're going to go ahead and try to get AE2 into a place where I'm pretty happy with it, where I'm pretty content with everything. And uh, hopefully that, that goes as well as I'm making it sound, because it, it sounds way easier whenever I put it this way. But you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to be that easy, because it's never, never that easy. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Anywho, ooh, ME drive fixture? Can I have a flat ME? So, uh, I guess I should make an observation here now. So, for those of you who are not who are familiar with mod packs, but not necessarily sure about what Stone Block Two has specifically, you may have some questions. Um, kind of what's all involved with this particular mod pack? Of the things of particular note that I found, there is Ender IO AE Two stuff. If you know what that is, if not, don't worry about it. Um, there's also these extra cells. This will actually be important because these things kind of make other things happen. So, uh, one way to explain this is. Uh, extra cells will let us have beyond 64k storage, I believe. Um, and then there's also some extra stuff here, like extra cells 2 has this ME drive fixture, which I'm kind of curious now about. So I'm going to probably go take a gander. Um, and then we're also going to have something called like AE2. I forget, it's like extra AE2 or something. I don't remember what it is. This one, AE2 stuff. This is a completely different thing. This is what we've been using some of the time without me actually knowing that we were using it. So just as a quick little heads up for those of you who are savvy, if you're not savvy, don't worry about it. Um, I'm not, I, I'm going to pretend that I am <laughs> savvy enough to be like, yeah, this is this is how that works. Totally, man. I'm, I'm gonna pretend that I am, I am good enough to do that. But before we go anywhere at all, I'm gonna go ahead and start off this whole process by making an ME import bus. Now you might be a little bit curious as to why I'm making ME import bus whenever it's like, hey, Joko, you haven't made the new system yet. Why would you make this at this point? It will hopefully make sense in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the import bus right there. And then we're gonna put this right here. And that's gonna empty out my logic circuits here. Now, if you saw me kind of dabbling before, I was kind of poking around um, with stuff and I've been messing around with the system because what I would like to have happen is making the, so making all these different inscribed blah, blah, blahs are super annoying. I didn't enjoy it. I thought I was kind of dumb um, in terms of like having to sit there and be like, okay, I have to put this in, I have to move this around and blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna go ahead and try to simplify that a little bit really quickly. And then we'll make another version that's gonna be hopefully better. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> stressing the hopefully side of that <laughs> equation. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make an automated version of that as we go along. But first, before I do literally anything else, I need very desperately to create uh, another storage cell because uh, it's it's looking kind of what in the world? It's looking kind of sketchy. It's kind of it's kind of looking a little bit uh you know a little bit weird. So we're gonna go ahead make ourselves a 1K ME storage cell. This should get us just across the finish line. So that's a blank pattern. I could, so I can actually, you know, craft things and move things back into here because it was getting kind of full. It was kind of getting a little bit silly. All right, so let me go ahead and put all those things into there. And let me see if I can actually do this correctly. So I believe, so, okay, I have an inscriber logic press in here, yeah? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my ME system. 
throw that into there. And I did brush up on AE2 stuff, so if you're like, wow, Jogo, suddenly you, uh, you seem like you know what's going on a little bit more. I'm pretending to know what's going on until I hit a big snag, then I'll probably just break down in tears and just kind of go from there. But for right this second, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling like we might we might have a chance to figure some stuff out. I don't know, rocket surgery is complicated. So let me make some more quartz glass. Um, I don't remember exactly how many I need, but that's the amount that I'm gonna make for now. And let me think of what I actually need. So I need one more for silicon, one more for, uh, let's see. So I need four of those, but I already have one. So let's make three of them. And then I'm gonna need to make their kind of product, right? So whenever you put them together with redstone and all that stuff, so three more. And I think that will be it for now, perhaps. Because silicon is only good, is, there's no product of silicon, just straight up, okay. Now, here is where the magic should theoretically be happening. If you click this, crafting pattern, click this again, well, it starts off in crafting pattern, but if you click it, it goes to processing pattern. This is gonna be what lets you use AE2 to interact with machines. I'm gonna go ahead, take these blank patterns, throw them all up into there, and let's make some circuits. So we already have a golden logic circuit. Let me go ahead and make one for you, one for you, and then we're gonna take their, oh, also I need the silicon one, and then one for you. Okay, so we got those three. That should be the basics of what we need. And then we're gonna go ahead and have to make the upgraded versions of these. Um, I, I forget what these things are called, processors. So let me go ahead, look up processor, and then that should show one of you. Might have made one too many. One of you, and then one of you. Now, as a quick note, um, one thing that I kind of banged my head against the wall for is I was really confused. I was like, this isn't the way this works. I know this isn't the way this works. And I got really, really kind of like just baffled by what was happening. If you are feeling this way and you're playing Stone Block 2, I know the exact reason why you're also confused if you were like me, which is they made it so in this mod pack, this advanced subscriber thing never used to exist. This is not part of AE2 normal. This is like extra AE2 stuff that I think someone else just added onto it to make it a little bit easier. This thing is amazing. It used to be that you would have to put in like on the top slot, this feeds into there, and then on the middle slot, this feeds into there, and the bottom. You don't have to do that anymore. Now with this thing, you just unlock this, then what this lock does is basically says like, hey, don't pull this from here, regardless of if you have like an importer or whatever. This makes it so you can pull it. Note that it says if no process is ongoing and middle slot is empty, right? It can be removed if no process is ongoing and middle slot is empty, so it doesn't pull them while it's trying to make something, right? Which is perfect, that's exactly what we need. So now if I've done this right and I have the ingredients, if I look up the word processor, um, I should, in theory, let's say I wanna make some more calculation processors, I should be able to just do this. There's one two, three, and there we go. We are finally getting into A2, and I'm not a complete patat. Don't get me wrong, I am a patat still, but I'm not as big of a patat as I used to be. Cool, awesome. All right, so now that we have this thing going for us, I should, in theory, be able to say, hey, I want you to make all the processors, and blah, blah, blah. I should just be able to take whatever I have and just kind of throw it into this whole system. Should be A-okay. Now. There is a couple of other things I would like to be able to make because I also find them incredibly annoying. So if you remember formation cores, these things I find hilariously awful to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a, one more blank pattern if I can, okay? And then I thought I had an extra blank pattern. Maybe I threw it in here in my haste. Did I throw it in here? Thought I did, perhaps not. Oh wait, it's gonna be in here, isn't it? Yep, <clears throat> okay, it's just it's sitting there waiting for me like it's supposed to be, <laughs> like, like, like I told it to. All right, so let me go ahead and make a, what are these, they're like annihilation formation cores, okay. So let me go ahead and say, hey, I would like to have a pattern for you, and hey, I would like to have a pattern for you. Now note, this is not gonna be something that I can just create freely as I like with some base resources. I'm gonna need those dusts, which I don't have them all set up yet. So that's not gonna be happening for a hot second. Um, it doesn't matter because I only have these here for the time being. All right, so let me go ahead and say, hey, um, I would like to make, oh gee, I don't know. Um, 
let's say I am gonna start making the actual new ME system, right? So I'm gonna need an ME drive. I'm kind of curious to see if I can make that, but we're not gonna get too greedy just yet. All right, so let me go ahead and make one new ME drive for the time being. Um, I'm also going to require, well, I don't know if I actually technically require this, but we're gonna go ahead and make one anyway. Uh, we're gonna make an energy acceptor and hopefully, nope, I don't have the quartz glass for it. Hopefully I have enough of this stuff. Yes, I do. Oh, I just blew through Certus Quartz Dust, I think. Rip, that was not a good idea. Okay, well, <laughs> well that's where we're at now. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and just kind of put these on the right rows here. So ME drive, energy acceptor. Um, I would like to make a ME, what is this called? The, this thing, the brain controller. Controller. <clears throat> And let's see, what else am I gonna need? I'm gonna need, so we've been using Fluix uh, tubes, I, for, I forgot what they're called, but we're gonna go ahead, maybe Fluix conduits, I don't remember what they're called, but um, we're gonna go ahead and switch to smart cables if they're not too expensive, which they may be. I'm not actually sure as to how expensive these will be. Um, so it's gonna require a covered cable and then it requires all manner of junk and blah, blah, blah. Okay, it requires wool. You know what? I take that back. I don't think we're gonna do this because I don't know if I could be bothered to make it. Um, quartz fiber should be okay to make a bunch of. Okay, well, I made some. And then I should be able to make more glass cables and whatever else. Let's go ahead and put this over yonder. <clears throat> now, of course, if you are really confused at this point, this is only gonna get worse from here. It's the honest thing about it, but it's this. This should. This is something that will pay off. Hopefully, in theory, should pay off quite well for us. Um, oh wait, but I. But ha 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 ha. Um, I'm going to want. Uh, this is gonna again. This is a temporary setup. I know that this is not gonna be like the most efficient thing in the world, but I wanted to see what that flat one is gonna be like. That flat one. <laughs> is going to be really cool, I think. So, let me see here. And again, I'll explain things as we kind of go along. Um, the reason why I was looking up for this smart cable, if you're kind of curious about that, I did see already kind of wondering what that's gonna do. Smart cables let you see how many channels you are using in that cable. You can have a maximum of eight things that consume channels on any given line, and that gives you a visual representation with lines. And then the dense cable can hold up to 32, um, and only filling in one, or filling in one of the eight lines on there is corresponding to four channels being taken. Uh, I wanted to do ME drive, but this thing. So yes, cool. I would like to make one of you. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what this looks like, because in theory this means that you can have like a really cool uh, setup where you have these things kind of doing all manner of shenaniganry. Um, okay, so let me see here. I'm gonna go ahead and put an ME drive fixture right there. Oh, but it's smaller. Oh. Mm, I mean, I, okay, so for, for just pure square footage, I guess, in terms of like how much space is consumed, this will be better. But admittedly, mm, kind of makes me raise my eyebrows a little bit. Kind of makes me makes me have head hurt okay so we're still do we're still doing pretty good we're still doing pretty good all right so I'm still I'm still feeling pretty pretty dapper about things as it were I think that we're doing pretty okay um, let me go ahead and make some 1k storage but honestly can I even think can can we even dream about doing the crazy stuff uh, not like the 128 like lol yeah not that stuff but Maybe we can think, dream about this. Ooh, I don't know. That looks awfully doable. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So, three each time. Yeah. So three. So one. One of. The, so one sixty-four is going to require three of these, which require nine of these, which is going to require twenty-seven of these. So the real question is, can I make twenty-seven of these bad boys? <laughs> <laughs> it hurts me that, that that failed within moments. But wait, but wait, I have AFK it a little bit. 
and we have ourselves some service course essence that I'm sure would be more than happy to part ways with this existence in order to help me. So let me go ahead and reach into my little bag of tricks here. Why is this doing so much better than that? Hello? Are you slacking over here? What's happening here, buddy? What's going on? Oh, there's no fertilizer. I never set up fertilizer, did I? It's not reaching there, cause okay. So there you go. Fertilizer is useful. <laughs> I need to. I need to get some transfer pipes in there immediately. I did not realize that I did not have that connected. That was a really silly, 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 silly mistake. Um. All right. So transfer pipe. I clearly am going to need more of you. Let me go ahead and make some. Just kidding. It can't even do that. Feels great, man. Stone. Okay, make myself some slab arenos, and then let's try that one more time. So transfer pipe, just kidding. Transfer pipe, okay, cool. Voila, transfer pipe, dune and dune. Okay, let's go ahead and put some things into here. Okay, now it may take a minute, but there we go. There it is, there she goes. Literally, that was the only one that didn't work. Come on, come on. Ugh, feels bad, man. I still don't think, that didn't seem right. I think that, well, I don't know, 1.25, maybe, maybe. I don't know, man, we're not gonna worry about it. That's not what we're trying to focus on today, all right? I'm trying to focus on my dreams of becoming a Sirtis Course Master, all right? So I, I am gonna just roll with it. I just murdered my ME system for a moment there. That was kind of terrifying. Okay, so I would like to make a bunch of these Sirtis Quartz, and then I'm gonna feed them back into here. Cool bean arenos. Now, I'm gonna take these Sirtis Quartz, making sure I'm not using pure, and I'm gonna make one. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh man, it's just, it hurts you, you know? Like, it just hurts you. All right, so I need 25 of these golden thingies. Um, <laughs> Come it. I need 25. All right, so let me just type in 25 into there, Hit next, I'm missing some silicon. It's telling me I don't have the inscriber silicon press, which that doesn't sound right. What do you mean you don't have the silicon press? What the heck did I do with my silicon press? It's right in here. Are you, hello? Are you drunk, game? Game, are you okay? Are, is there, is everything all right? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's a little bit drunk. I'm just gonna assume that this this thing is confused and it's gonna be like, oh, it's fine. I don't actually need 13. I just need to have that one. It'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. All right, so let me see if the silicon chickens have produced anything for us. We did just put them in at the start of the episode. Oh, <laughs> silicon chickens. <laughs> Hooking me up, huh? I like it. All right, here we go. And then I think I have to throw an obligatory yeet one. It won't be that one though, because it didn't say yeet at the right time. I'm trying I'm trying to learn how to be, you know, hip. Hip and tubular, like all those cool kids, you know? All right, let's see here, silicon. I can't imagine how many just cringed right there. It's actually incredible to think about. All right, 25, next. Okay, um, it's saying that I need 13 of these because it thinks I need to have... Hmm. Let me think about this. So we need to have... Hmm. This wasn't as big of a problem the other time. Wait, so if I, what if I told it to do five? Okay, so I have to tell it to do like smaller batches. I don't understand. So, okay, that's all fine and dandy. Now, can I keep on doing, why does it, okay, I think that's glitching. I don't, th I, I could be wrong about this, but it seems like it gets confused with large orders of the stuff, and I don't really know if there's a better way around that. And boom. I said I needed 25 of these, right? 
Um, interesting. Okay, so now it's saying that I need to have. Okay, hold on. Let's let's let me try something real quick. So if I tell it to just to make one, yeah, it should work every time. Because it understands I don't need to have a bajillion silicon presses. I suppose it's not the biggest deal for me to make more silicon press things. I guess that's not like the end of the world if I were to do that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how this could work. Um. What if I approached it from the other side? Let's see what would happen. So if I told this thing to do 20, okay, it's gonna assume that I need 20 silicon presses, which is not what I want. Um, hmm. Okay, well, if that's the case, it's kind of a bummer, isn't it? All right, um. Let me think. I could make it so it's just gonna be an input thing. Well, for, for the time being, let's not get too stressed about that. Let's not get hung up on this too long. Um, I'm gonna take the silicon press, I'm gonna take a bunch of silicon, and I'm just gonna have it go nuts for a little bit. I'm gonna lock these and say, hey buddy, inscriber, make some silicon for me. Wunderbar. Then I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. That should kind of get that whole thing going. <clears throat> hmm. So I guess the logical thing for me to do I don't know actually. Hold on. We're, I'm going to do a quick little experiment. I'm curious to see if this would work. So let me see if I can get the pattern terminal. Because in all honesty, I don't really mind if it makes like ridiculously large batches of these in the future. Um, if I were to say, hey buddy, make this. Right. And I'm talking about silicon presses. Just kidding. I need to put it in the scriber. So if I say that, but I say... Can I tell it that I want a bunch of them? I can, okay, hold on. So I can I can make this work for me. All right, so let's, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the printed silicon, yeah, and then we're gonna make uh, a good number more of them real quick. So I, I need to get to 64. I have 46, I need 18 more, I believe. So let me get 18. Oh, I have 18 in my inventory. I'm, I'm just super smart. Okay, hold on. Eh, locked. Uh, put the silicon thingy in there. Let that run. We'll let this run to completion. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do this as a batch. Now, in the future, we're going to be able to do something, I believe, if I you know can figure it out. But I should be able to make it so it auto-crafts at a certain point, And I can just keep on having it repeat that 64 amount a number of times. And that should be okay. Um, but let me let me see. Let me see if I can quickly throw this together here. So I have what in the world did I just do? Huh? Oh, there's the other one. Okay. So I'm gonna take 64 of these, 64 of these out, and I'm gonna say, hey buddy, let's do 64. And then you are going I'm expecting to have 64 outputted here. Okay? That's the goal. I'm gonna take the pattern out of here. So let me take that encoded pattern. Uh, let me go ahead and, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. I got confused, okay. Eh. Hmm? What did I just do? I don't know what just happened. Okay, whatever, I don't know. Eh. All right, pattern in, nope, that's not what I want. Pattern in, encoded pattern out. Let's see if that works. Okay, so now I should say, hey, I would like to make uh, 64 of these bad boys, and it, I'm, I am gonna have to be mindful that it has to be some kind of 64. Oh, and I also need to throw in the silicon press. Okay, so let me throw that in there. 
I'm also going to make sure that this is all unlocked. Yes, yes, yes. Silicon, love me, senpai. Uh, 64, yes. And again, we can put in the thing that will like auto-regulate this in the future, but for right now, yes, it works! Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and regulate itself. It's gonna go ahead and push out 64 per command issue. And this is with me still putting in manual commands. And yes, I am saying manual, because there is a way to get to automation and go do crazy things. So we're gonna, yes, we're good, we're good. This is okay, I'm okay with this. I'm going to be, <laughs> hopefully we should be pretty content with how everything is going. All right, um, real quick, I'm actually, while that's running, because that's gonna take a little bit of time to, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, while this takes a moment to run, I'm gonna go run all the way over here, get some gold diamond. I don't, so pure assertus, I can't really do in like a cool fancy way just yet, but we'll get there. Don't worry, we, we'll get there. I have plans, man. I have plans upon plans. You take your plan, you put another plan inside of it and you still wouldn't have the plan that I have right now. It's gonna be nuts. If you can't tell, I've kind of been, uh, I might have been uh, looking into this stuff for a hot minute and it might have warped my brain. I. I can't go back. I'm, it, this is just how life is now. <laughs> I'm scared. I am so scared. All right, so let me go ahead and zip on over. And let me, oh, hey, I've been wondering where you guys have been. It's been a moment. I've actually been using Ender Pearls pretty generously and I haven't really seen a lot of those guys, so. Good to know that they're still alive. I mean, I don't can't say I particularly like them, but eh, eh, you know what? They're around their own. All right, uh, Silicon, and I left home and I can't tell if that says 64 or 54. 64, okay, beautiful. All right, so that is all done and the Silicon press returned to home base. Excellent. All right, um, now I would like to do, <laughs> I'd like to do the same thing with everything else because that would make my life a little bit easier. So let me go ahead, take the patterns out for this, 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 and then also these as well. Um, I know it's a little bit ambitious to be like, hey, I just like to have blah, 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 but we're gonna go ahead and try for it because I figure why not? Uh, I have logic processors, that's whatever. All right, so I have these three encodeds. Um, I actually need to make way more of them, so let's go ahead and throw those together as well. Uh, the other ones, the products are not actually that bad, because once I have the 64 of each, then I can go ahead and just go boom, boom, boom down the line. All right, so let me go ahead and grab, and of course, I didn't think this through. So gold, I need a stack of you. I don't think I have a stack of you yet, so. Uh, let me take you, some sand, uh, throw you together. No, okay, I thought this is how we made Surtis seeds, but I guess not. Uh, Surtis seed, oh, I have to grind them down. Okay, okay, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. We're okay, we're okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, herp derp. Okay, let me take that crystal out of there, let me Dad gum it, I put it back into the system. Yeah! Okay. Certus quartz, take, throw, yes. You out, in, go, good. I just threw my one case in there. Okay, that's all right, that's all right, we found. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, advanced inscriber, lock it, uh, throw my gold into there, and I'm gonna need my logic presses, yeah? And then that's gonna make a whole bunch of logical processes. Beautiful. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and run. I, pr in retrospect, I should have. Well, actually, no, this should be okay. In in retrospect, what I was gonna say was, in retrospect, I should have made the pattern beginning of it first before I had committed to doing this, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. All right, so let me go ahead and blank out these patterns, and I wanna just go ahead and actually put them all. No, oh, stop, what? Oh, <laughs> it'd be helpful if I wasn't dumb. Um, encoded patterns, boop, boop, boop. All right, cool. So six patterns into there, and then they're gonna create our whatever requirements we have. I'm gonna go ahead and make circuits, right? So I'm gonna want a printed logic circuit. 
But the thing here is I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want 64 put in per one of those, and I expect 64 out. Now that's gonna to have to handle being made first before I can do anything with it. And I think we just finished those, so that should be somewhere now. So let's have the word logic. I have more than enough. Okay, let me go ahead and say, hey, I expect to have 64 as an output. Make the pattern, and that should make life a lot easier. Okay, and then now I'm going to go ahead and switch gears. So let's clear that bad boy out. And now we want to go and do, let's say, the inscriber. Um, nope, I don't want to do the inscriber yet. And the engineering, throw that into there. This time I want 64 diamonds as part of this, and then I want to also get that all running. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull 64 from here, take this out, put in an engineering press, put some diamonds in there, let that run. And that should, in theory, get me to where I need to be for this whole thing. And I think I already have some in the wings here, so we should be good with that. Woo, this is feeling great, because we're actually making good progress. And AE2, man, there is, okay, so I wasn't aware of this. In AE2, they added in uh, a beautiful, an absolutely beautiful thing that I have never really messed with before, or at least at, at, as far as I can remember, I never messed with it, and it's it's looking glorious. I'm Let me tell you, I almost cried when I saw it. I was just like, this is gonna be great. So when I get there, you'll know, because I'll probably be like screaming from the rooftops. <sighs> it's gonna be beautiful, guys. It's gonna be beautiful. It's, take, it's taking us a while, but we're getting there. We're doing a Minecraft. At long last, we're doing a Minecraft, guys. Serious so Quartz Dust, ready to roll. Oh wait, but that's actually no good to us just as is. I need to go ahead and change them into beautiful little seeds. We are gonna make a number of these just because I don't actually have, I don't actually have um, this whole system automated. And yes, we can automate this too, so it should be exciting times. Let that go ahead and do its thing. Actually, I'm gonna need it anyways. Well, okay, hold on. So yeah, I'm gonna need it anyways. Let's just wait for it, I guess. It's not gonna take that long. Boom, done, pure assertist, what a beautiful thing. All right, so we have that one. Now I can theoretically take this out. Uh, the logic can also go in there. I would like to go ahead and make this. So I would like 64 of these pure crystals to go in, and I know that seems kind of expensive, but just bear with me. And then I expect 64 of these calculation circuits out now. I'm gonna go ahead, switcheroo these bad boys, put that into there, let that run for 64 of those. And I'm also, at this point, I'm done with the engineering press. Um, I think we're just about done with the presses themselves. And then if I'm looking for a calculation, yeah, okay, so you can see here we're getting there. We're getting on our way. And, bum, bum, no. Okay, so 64, encode, encoded pattern, oh yeah, all right. So we got this going on. Okay, this is looking beautiful, guys. Holy cow, this, it's been, it's been a struggle, but we're getting there, at long last, we're getting there. All right, so now at this point, I need to switch into doing the actual uh, processors, right? Um, I don't actually have the golden processors. That's okay, right? Actually, maybe I can trick the thing. I don't, I don't know if it will understand. I think I can trick it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to trick the thing. I'm gonna try to trick the game into thinking that I have these things instead of having the entire product. So process, or the calculation processor, right? We would do this except I want to have a calculation circuit. I would want to say, hey, I have 64 of those. Silicon, I am going to say that I have 64 of those. And then redstone, I'm gonna say that I have 64 of those, but I don't even have 64 of those, so it feels super bad. Let me go ahead and resolve that real quick. Okay, that should be, yeah, that, okay, that should be enough. All right, so now redstone, throw it into there. Beautiful. Now, obviously, I put these three, like the, all these things together. I'm not gonna get just one, but we're gonna see if it, we can trick it. We're gonna see if I can convince it that that's totally what's gonna end up happening, right? Uh, that's that's the hope is that I can trick the thing into believing that, that that's all correct. All right. Um, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other processors. I don't know why I did it that way. So I'm going to search up processors in here just so my sanity is not completely shot. Engineering processor, same exact thing. I'm going to take the redstone, flop it onto here. I'm going to take the presses, just kidding. I'm going to take the printed, I guess was the word I was looking for, printed in silicon printed things. Say that's there. Right, and then I'm going to do that one more time with the logic processors. Printed, I guess what I could have, <laughs> I'm doing this, anyway. I could have just left the redstone, just done this manually. But you know what, I am, I'm doing good. I'm doing a good right now, all right? Just can't judge me. Okay, so let's go ahead, throw these into here now. All right, and that should be, be able to bulk produce things for us. And what should theoretically happen is I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I don't know what I'm missing. I'm, I'm missing logic processor. I'm gonna say, hey, I'd like to go ahead and make one logic processor. And it's gonna be like, well, you need all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, all right, that's cool. That's cool with me, let's go ahead and do it. Now I'm gonna throw that in there. And what I should see is it's gonna craft, oh wait, I forgot to unlock it. All right, so it should craft up multiple logic processors, eh? So we, we, we convinced it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna convince it that it's, even though it's only done, like I was saying like, I expect one output, it's gonna continue going and it's not gonna pull the other things out of there because I said, hey, go ahead and let this, it's gonna run until completion. So that's all good. God bless. Okay, so th there we go. Log all these processors and stuff, this should cut down the amount of time it takes for us to get to places. And more importantly, if you guys have been using the old school inscribers and stuff, I would strong, if you have any control over your mod packs, I would strongly, strongly recommend that you get an advanced inscriber. This makes life a bajillion times easier. If you know how to level or automate like a certain keeping, maintaining certain levels of things, this means you don't have to have, cause I think we used to have a conga line of inscribers, but now this means that we can have one inscriber doing all the work for all of them. And it's just, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh man, now here's the real test, okay? Here's the real, real test. I want to take out all my engineering processes, right? And now it's gonna say, hey, I don't have any. I'm gonna tell it to make one. Oh, well, it's okay, that wasn't completely fair. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So the goal here is I, what I would like for me to be able to say is have the necessary ingredients in there and then have the necessary ingredients, go ahead and craft all the prerequisites to get to the processor so I don't have to do that ever again. Which if it works, I think we can all agree, that's a solid win. That's like a very, very good win for us. So let me go ahead, zip on back. And whoop. Oh, that's, yeah, I was, yep, yeah, that was, that was gonna happen. <laughs> that was, that was not a good one. Alrighty, and whoop. Uh oh, that's ceiling. Yep. I need to stop hitting the ceiling, man. <laughs> Can't help it that I'm too tall, Kappa. All right, let me see. Throw in my redstone dust. And let's try that one more time again, yeah? So I would like to make some processors. Um, I would like to make an order of you, please. And an order of you, please. Uh oh. Wait, it might be doing the prerequisites. Yeah, okay, so it's, see how it says scheduled? So this is what it's going for, this is what it's currently working on. It's trying to get the printed silicon up to scratch. So that's all fine. Um, I wanna confirm what I actually made. Okay, the engineering processor, so I need the calculation processors. So I'd like to also put an order for you, which you are unable to do why. You have the calc. Oh wait, it's gonna probably say that I need the silicon press from out of here. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. So we'll let we'll let we'll let this run. If I have the automation for like keeping certain levels, again, this won't be something that I have to worry too much about. Um, this should be something that I should be okay with rolling through. Anywho, back to the original, <laughs> the original concern. Um, I need to make some 1K storage components, right? So I would like to make 1K storage components. I need to make 25 of these bad boys. I uh, don't know if I have the necessary things for it right now. Did I just blow through like a bajillion pure Certus? Dad, come it. Game one. Why would you even let me do that? 
I like how it doesn't it just doesn't care. There's no there's no version of civility here. This thing could care less about my feelings. It's just you know what? Sure, why not slaps it together? It's, oh my lord. Okay, so 1k ME storage components. We have 27 of those. Let me go ahead and then try to upgrade these bad boys into the 4k ME storage components. Um I don't I don't remember how that goes. <laughs> How, how does this how does this look okay gotcha 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 all right so one two three okay cool so now we have nine of these okay looking good looking handsome looking dapper okay oh game oh game don't you do this to me right now don't you do this to me right now all right Need more quartz glass. This is another quartz dust. I can live with that. I'm all honest. I can live with whatever now. Um, I need to make another 16K. K. And then this into a glorious, full fledged six. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> glorious, full fledged 64K ME storage component. Oh, baby, let's do it. All right, and then now we're gonna, I'm no, no. I firmly reject that right now. There's, I don't need to push that just yet. We'll get there, don't worry. I'm gonna totally replace all this stuff. But for right now, I just want 164K to kind of hold this up because this should be more than all those combined, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might be a little bit sketchy there. I might be misunderstanding how that whole thing works because there's a chance that it's just, I still only have 64 slots, but within each of those 64 slots can hold way more. I don't quite remember if that's exactly how that works. So just word to the wise, I, I might be a little bit sketchy on that. All right, so let's go ahead and now bounce over. Man, we've been going for a while too, rip a Rooney. All right, it's okay, it's all right, I'm committed. I'm committed to this, I will do what I can. All right, so we have the energy acceptor there. Um, I would like to also make a flux point if possible. I know that that's not gonna be something super simple. Fun fact, if I'm not misunderstanding this again, um, I believe, okay, not 100% sure on this one, I believe I can automate the production of flux. That said, I do not want that to be the main thing that I'm banking on later on down the line for this, but it should theoretically be possible from what I can see that I can automate the process of making flux as well. You might be like, that doesn't seem to make sense. How would you do that? Uh, let me, well, that's a future choco problem. For right now, let's focus on current choco problems. All right, so we got that whole thing rocking and rolling right there. Um, I want to now make this make some version of sense, right? So let me go ahead. I just ate that flux duct, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and let this be our little command center for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these out here, like a little weird arms. Okay, so step one. I need to make myself a way to uh, kind of acquire materials and let, let that kind of expand and do its own thing and blah, blah, blah. That would be very, very nice. So to that end, I think what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna, well, I need this thing to be able to uh, be accessible, right? I need to be able to, you know, actually interact with whatever's in there. So I would like to have another crafting terminal. So ME terminal, I believe I can bounce this into a crafting terminal without too much trouble. Yes, I can. Um, I don't see the value of key, like crafting terminals I can use more of in the future. Any patterns, I'm not too sure if I'd want to have more than one. So I'm going to go ahead and just say that this can live here for now, but we'll eventually take that and steal it and move into a different position. So that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also say that I'm gonna probably need to think about making one uh, actual crafting thing. So what I mean by that is so you see this, right? We have the crafting unit, crafting storage. Uh, I, t I stole the molecular assembler because that's for not processes. If it doesn't have to go through a machine, right? So I, I went ahead and took that out for now, but in theory, we could also add something like this in here. But I wanna make one of these crafting clusters because I think that would be very helpful. Um, to that end, I'm gonna go ahead and make a block of these things. And if I am understanding this correctly, which I very well may not be, but let's go ahead and say that I wasn't completely crazy. 
Um, I believe that the way this works is that it doesn't really matter the way that this is all interacting, but the molecular assemblers have to be uh, close to an ME interface. So I'm going to assume that's what's true. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, because you can theoretically have it so they were, like, I don't know, let me think of a better way to explain this. So if you have a, uh, so there's a block ME interface, right? So I think a molecular assembler can be attached to any of those parts and that's what actually throws the things together. So you can have one sitting on <coughs> any phase of an ME interface block. And then there is also the flat version, which isn't like ultra flat, but it's, you know, flat-ish. I think you can also use that, but I don't see the purpose of messing out or messing out, me like kind of, uh, I don't see the purpose of using the flat ones, but I can just use the cube one and that will go ahead and interface with six different uh, molecular assemblers. I don't think I would need more than six. I might be wrong, but I don't think I would. So that's gonna be that. So I think what we're gonna be aiming for is uh, a total of six molecular assemblers, which uh, that should be far more than I realistically need. Well, actually, let's not even do that. I don't, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna use six. Uh, let's go for a three by three by three. And then let's say that it's gonna be an ME interface, four molecular assemblers, which is still gonna probably be more than I need. And then let's also say that I'm going to want I don't, hmm, I don't actually know if you need to have technically more than one crafting unit. Hold on, real quick, let me do a quick professional Google search, Gavin. <sighs> All right, uh, uh, crafting units from 82. Let me just confirm something here. So this, maybe I don't need it. Oh. Do I not need? Okay, I'm gonna try something. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna attempt to do something. I this is I'm entering territory where I'm I'm kind of guessing that I th I think I know how this will work, but I'm not 100% sure about it. Oh lord! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna need oh god, I'm gonna need three annihilation, three formation cores, right? So I would like to. Let's see, <laughs> let's see how this goes. I would like to have you. That's not gonna happen because it has no molecular assembler, LOL. I'm a funny person. All right, so let's go ahead, throw in a molecular assembler here. Okay, now in theory, it should be able to throw those things together. Um, also, well, I suppose I'm not gonna stress about that right now. I'm, I was about to say, I don't think I ever made the some kind of circuit, I forget what it was, processor rather. Yeah, calculation processor is looking a little bit anemic, so I guess, well, I won't do this now because it will take up time and I don't have the co-processing power for it, so I shall leave that alone. All right, but uh, let me go ahead and make you, I suppose I'm gonna leave the molecular assembler here so I have a way to craft things if I need. So let me go ahead and actually say I need four of these. Right, so I would like to make four. Apparently I already have the ingredients I need to make that, so feels good, man, but not what I not the way I want to do it. Alright, so let me go ahead and say I need four. Go ahead and craft those up. And then four is done. And then uh, formation core. I already have one of you, mysteriously enough. I need to have at least three. It's gonna make an extra bit because it doesn't have a way to not make extra. So okay, cool. Molecular assemblers, two, three, four, looking fine and dandy. Um, I'm going to want crafting storage. Uh, so here is the deal with crafting storage, right? I can theoretically go up to 64K, but this would mean that I would have to make a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna forego these because I'm gonna have to upgrade them all anyways. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, 
let's just make them all 1Ks. I know that's like kind of lame, but we're just, we're gonna go with that for now. All right, so this is gonna be a three by three. I'm going to need to have, let's see, those four around the center, and then I'm gonna have four co-processings sitting on top of that, which means I can have a total of 18 of these. That seems kind of, well, whatever. It's not a big, it shouldn't be a big deal. If I can get this to work the way that I want it to, this will become a drop in the bucket kind of thing. All right, um, I'm, I'm, I'm missing certain chords to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and grab some Surtis Quartz Essence. I don't know. And let me throw this into here. Okay, so I'm going to, it's yelling at me to make Surtis Quartz, which I believe is just, nope, it's just that. Keep on lifting it up. All right, now let's try that again. I would like to make 18 of these. And I would like to, oh God, I'm gonna need, okay. <laughs> I just realized how many of these things I need. Uh, let's start with a co-processing, right? co -pro no, that's not how it's gonna, oh yeah, there we go, okay. Co-processing unit. Um, so I'm gonna need four of these, so one, To th why? <laughs> why? Why won't you let me succeed? Okay, um, I'm gonna need more calculation processors, which I believe is the one that I scoffed at and ran away from. Okay, so let me go ahead and put an order for that. I am going to need more redstone. Are you for real? <laughs> like, hello? Do I have redstone just sitting around? Oh, that's not gonna have redstone. That's gravel, I'm pretty sure it's sitting through. Do I, do I have just like an emergency supply of redstone over here? No, okay, well, feels bad. Feels bad, man. Don't you worry. All right, it's okay. We'll be masters of AE2 by the end of this. Don't you worry. By masters, I mean we're gonna have to be like, I don't know, apprentices. We're gonna be like Sith apprentices. It's gonna be fine. That ended well for the last guy who was a Sith apprentice, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he's living a very comfortable, happy life with his wife and kids. Oh wait, I guess that's not true anymore. I guess I can't even make that joke anymore because now there's another Sith Apprentice who's, well, happily living with his mom and dad. Doesn't doesn't quite kind of have the same ring to it, does it? It doesn't, <laughs> studying happily with his teacher. Let's go with that one. All right, so let me go ahead, drop in some good old fashioned redstone. I hate to Skype in there and then make some, wait, no, wrong one. I need calculation processor. Make some of these bad boys. Start crafting, bar, And then let that do its thang. All right, now, before I was rudely interrupted, um, can I go ahead and make two more of you? Yes, a Wundervar. And then can I change you into these? Sure, can. All right, and let's start, uh, oh wait. <laughs> Well, Jogo, it'd be nice if you actually also remembered to make the uh, interface that you said you were going to actually put in there. All right, so let's say interface, I would like to make one of you, <laughs> to which the game goes, ha, huh, you are a funny man. You think you're going to be able to make this right now? Whoa. Okay, Emmy interface, create, yes. Now, there's probably going to be a better way to do this. Maybe we'll come across it. Again, we're using Stone Block 2 partially as well as a way to get ready for Sky Factory, whatever number we're on, three, four, eight. Um, <laughs> so I hope everyone is prepared for the eventuality that they're gonna be like, yeah, no, we decided to exclude that from this pack and then I can just silently cry. It's fine. It's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. All right. Uh, so Molecular Assembler, ME Interface. And then we're gonna go ahead and wasn't quite what I was meaning to do there, but hey, you know what? If it works, it works. Throw these on. Huh, weird. I thought it was gonna like at least say, oh, this is sort of valid without the crafting storage, but I guess it requires crafting storage to be considered to be a valid 
crafting thingy my blubber. Alright, um Lord. <laughs> Gonna need so many of these crafting things. It's okay, stay focused, Joko. We can do it. The power of whatever, we can do it. Um I'm gonna need way more of these fluid cables though. Alright, so if I need Oh man. Oh man. Uh blurb. I don't know. We'll just like this is pure. I'm wasting pure right now, aren't I? Sure am. Sure am. Oh, because I don't have the Ricky Ricky. <laughs> what kind of peasant am I? Okay. Uh, lordy. All right. 1K ME. One day. One day, I'm going to be able to just... Whatever I want to do that's currently in my brain, I will go ahead and be able to do. It's going to be great. When that day comes... Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Eh? Oh wow, we actually had enough. We actually had more than enough. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. How do I have more than enough? Did I not make the last 1K? Oh wait, it's in here. Well, okay. Uh, all right, so MK, MK. <laughs> 1K crafting storages, boom, lots of them. Just kidding, didn't make that many of them because you know why? They're not in my actual ME system, so I got confused. All right, 18, boom, there you go. Right. And whoop whoop whoop. Whoop whoop whoop. Whoop whoop whoop. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Interesting. So th these molecular assemblers actually don't play well with that. Um, huh, okay. Well, Then let's okay. We're gonna we're gonna adjust our plan a little bit here. This is gonna be a little bit weirder, but it'll be okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these out, right? And then instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and slap these on like so. Okay, that's considered valid. Coro Top, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope you appreciate the emotes and all the goodness that comes with the subscription. If you all um, by the way, if you want to see me on stream and stuff, then you can go to twitch.tv slash jogobochogo. Almost forgot to sell out. Oh, man, I swear. There are some moments where it's just like, you know, try to be a YouTuber and then just... I just don't do well, man. I just don't do well. All right, so... Let me go ahead and let that sit like so. I think technically what I should be doing is this is its own. So there's this and then there's this. This is like something I usually split apart. I think I just kind of combine them because I got super excited. I was like, yes, let's do everything now. But we're going to go ahead and just roll with this for now. All right. So if this is the case, let's let's assume. All right. Let's go ahead and assume that uh, that whole thing actually. Well, we're going to cheat. All right. It's fine, guys. It's fine. All right, just hook that up to there. All right, device online. That's what I like to see. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and slap that crafting terminal on there. And I don't have any patterns or anything in there, but you know what? You know what? This is fine. This is totally fine. Um, I don't know, man. Let's go make a, let's go make some kind of very basic pattern that I could actually make good use of. I say make good use of. I have no idea if I'm going to make good use of it, so to speak, but we'll see. All right, so I want to make a blank pattern. All right. <laughs> yep, would be helpful if it wasn't the right thing. Uh, actually, do I want to make the steps for this now? No, I don't. I don't think I do. All right, uh, blank pattern. I'm just going to make these really quick. Uh, let me think here. I want to make. 
make two of them. Yes, we'll make two of them. And then we'll just roll with this for now. I know that's not like the greatest thing in the world I've ever done, but with, oh, it would be nice if I actually made the pattern. Well, actually, before I can make the pattern, I need the stuff. So let me go ahead and rip out some serious quartz essence from here. I'm not gonna do skystone right now and flux essence from here. Very cool. Um, let me go ahead and pattern. Yes, yes, pattern. Okay, <laughs> like pa pattern, is that, is that you? All right, uh, pattern, yes, I would like to make you. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, they made, hmm. I didn't even think about that. It doesn't matter, it, this doesn't really apply to us anyway, so I'm not gonna stress about it. All right, uh, so Sirtis Quartz Crystals, yes, I would like to go ahead and make a pattern for you. Um, <laughs> good thing I didn't have the pattern in because it would be very confused otherwise. All right, and then, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and say it's a single operation. It's gonna not end up being that, but that's okay. Flux Essence, let's go ahead and make one for you. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead <coughs> and throw these two lovely things in here. Okay, cool beans. And now that is gonna, it should be able to go ahead and take these. So, Let's hypothetically say I would take a row of you and a row of you and throw it into here. I should, in theory, be able. I don't know why it insists on doing that. I don't know if it's because like it's shutting down for a moment or what's the deal with that, but that's kind of weird. It spooks me. All right, so let's see. I have 640. I have 640 essence. <laughs> Eight of those turns into six of the actual crystals or whatever. So it's going to be three quarters of that, right? Uh, so that's going to end up being... Can I do that math in my head? 180? That doesn't sound right. No, that's not right at all. One... 160? Is that right? Nope. <laughs> Not even close. All right. Let me think here. If I want, if I want to spend all these, what is the number I have to put into there? Oh, wait. What am I talking about? Well, no, no. I still have to make the conversion because it does the math for me too. So I get six for every eight. So this will run 80 times, right? And then 480, is that correct? Yeah, okay, there we go. Cool, and you see here, they have them in all of the different molecular assemblers. It's using all four of these. Now, I don't even have acceleration cards in here, and we can make that a little bit faster. So this is more of like a proof of concept, I guess, in terms of like the way that I want you guys to look at this and be like, okay, well, Choco, that's all fine and dandy. This is kind of pointless to do. Like this particularly, I understand it's not like, wow, Choco, that seems real useful, Lasai. It will it will make more sense. Just, just give it time, give it some time. All right, the last thing I wanna do in this particular episode, because we're gonna keep on going in the next several episodes probably, this is gonna be an AE2 little marathon for a while, because we're gonna have quite a few things I would like to do. Um, I want to, I don't know what the heck I just did. All right, I want to go ahead and uh, I want to make this thingy, ender chest, yes. All right. Um, so this would be the preferred one. I'm gonna make this one just because, just, just because pretty much. So we're gonna use this just because it's cheaper to work with and blah, blah, blah. So ender chests, we're gonna go ahead, work with these. I'm gonna need some transfer thingies. So let me go ahead and make two of those in here. 
All right. So in, th well, actually, I'm going to need three, I suppose. Uh, th oh, wait, no, I don't need to make three. I do, however, need to make an import bus. All right, so import bus, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so here we go with the next step of our grand plan. This and this are going to learn to work together to feed it into that. Um, whoops. Huh? I don't think I got it back. It's sitting on top. Give it to me. <laughs> ah, give me the, did I get it back? Yes, I did. All right, cool. All right, and then, ooh, is it not gonna play nice though? Rut row. Rut row. Rut row, Raggy. I don't like where this is going. What the heck? Oh, does it not play nice? Mm. Oh. These ender chests are naughty. That's why we use the other ender chest. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's wordless to me. All right, so uh, ender chest. We're gonna have to use these colored ones then. Rip, I don't think. Uh, blaze rods, I can swing. Woo, I, do I have a string? I don't think I have a string chicken. I know I can make a string chicken, but I don't know if I've ever made a string chicken. Okay, so let me, whoop, uh oh. I don't think I have string chicken, do I? Look for a bug-eyed one. Nope. That's a negative. All right, well, I have the blaze rods. <laughs> I can't believe that's the first time I picked up a blaze. I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I am ashamed. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, let me. <laughs> Just had to, just had to, man. All right, we're gonna go ahead. This is very similar to the thing that we did in Sky Factory, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, do I have string in here? <laughs> well, it's not, it's not enough. <laughs> I'm gonna need more string, so. Okay, <laughs> Okay, and then. Oh, whoops, did I just murder my tree? I totally did. Sorry about that. I did not mean to murder you. You are fine. Continue about your business. Um, string, 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 string. Hey, all right. And then with said string, I would like to make wool. Good. Eh. Eh. Got to make it. Oh, wait, no, I went too far. Went too far, went too far. All right, here we go. Ender chest, boom. One, question mark, what did I lose? Oh, the wool, two. Three. Yes. Yes, I'm going to request three. I'm also gonna take the rest of these for, for, for reasons, for, for, for glorious, glorious reasons. All right. All right, so now that, I have no idea where they're going. No! Uh-oh. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I should have checked. <laughs> Someone on the server is using this channel. I didn't even think about it. I was just like, all right, yeah, let's just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you just got yourself some presents of uh, essence for Fluix and Surtis Quartz. So, uh, 
No, you're good. You, you don't need to give back anything. <laughs> that's that's the cost of learning. <laughs> that's the cost of me not having thought that through. <laughs> Let's go ahead put these on here. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> too funny man oh that is too funny <laughs> it's one of those things you don't think about if you play it on a single player world it's not something you ever encounter I'm like yeah I'll just use whatever the first one I see should be perfectly fine <laughs> that was that was pretty pretty lulzy I was sitting there going wow it already knows what I want to do I was like wait a minute that doesn't make any sense something is going wrong here <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so, um, oh, yes, okay, so I will need to have a, alright, so I would like to put the, um, crafting stuff here, and then I guess I'll use this as the import side, if that makes sense, so let me go ahead and throw this down, I'm going to go ahead and put an ME import bus onto here, and that's going to theoretically pull things, I'm going to need well, there is a much simpler solution than going all the way back there and getting more of that. I can just break that. I don't know why I broke that. That was entirely unnecessary. Well, actually, no, that is that is necessary. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this here. Can I just do that? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. All right, so, whoops. All right, cool. And now that's all rocking and a rolling. And then you can see here I'm getting some Flux Essence, but at the speed of slow. So for the last duty that I have for right meow, I'm going to make acceleration cards and then we will call it a day. Because we have been, this has been a really productive session. Like that's been super productive. I'm going, oh, okay. I can do that with regular, <laughs> I can do it with regular, or pure, not, uh, I can do it with regular Flux Crystals. Brain, could not brain, hard enough, needed help. All right. Uh, advanced cards. Forget how many I need. I'll just make four. All right, and then not pure flux, please, please, please. No, would like to not use pure flux crystals on that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna bankrupt some of this, and let me go ahead and. Over here, make some flux crystals. I guess I had quite a bit of essence that I just never thought about. Okay, so flux crystals in, Whoop. acceleration cards out. And the reason why we're doing acceleration cards is that this, instead of being like it goes one, one, one faster, it will go by quarter of a stack, I think, four times. That's why I decided four would probably be the good thing to do here. Yep, sure enough. And so just like that, that thing is gonna just process things way the heck faster. So you can see here, the numbers jump pretty quick right there. Now that's gonna be way faster than what I need to process these two idiots. So that should be fine. Now these can run and they can do their own thing. I don't have to really monitor or worry about them a whole lot. They'll kind of sort themselves out, which is beautiful. Um, the other side of this equation that I think I'm gonna start to do now is I'm also perhaps, I'm gonna take a gander. We're gonna go take, take a little bit of a look skadoodles. Ooh, all right, let me go ahead, jump back over here. All right, so now we've had all these chickens. They've just been sitting here patiently waiting for their time to shine. Um, I don't need all of them right now, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of musical chairs with some of these chickens, perhaps. Um, let me think. Do I want to play musical chairs with these chickens, or do I want to make specific chickens and just have these as showcase chickens and seed chickens? Hmm. I suppose we'll use these as showcase chickens. All right, hold on. Let me... I, I do want to do one more... Well... You know what? No. This is going to be a future Choco problem. This is... I'm going to leave, leave this for future Choco to deal with, because I'm... I'm just going to live a simple life... Uh, the one thing that I consistently will run out of is you. So, uh, I don't know, we'll just do another pipe here. Okay. Okay, and that's going to go ahead and 
move redstone out of here. Beautiful. Um, I suppose I could do diamond, gold, iron. Uh, emeralds are kind of whatever. Coal is whatever. I don't really think I need like an industrial amount of obsidian. Silicon. Maybe. I mean. Ah, to heck with it. Why not? It'll just have a really long pipeline. <laughs> it's just, it's going to have a really, really long pipeline. Okay. So now that's absorbing all of these shenanigans. So I will have my, uh, these boys. So my gold, iron, diamond, redstone and silicon all routing over towards the uh this thingy to the to the me system that we have over here so all in all we are now in a much better place in terms of actually being able to store up a lot of different goods and in terms of commonly used things it should help us out a fair bit as well um because i have these learned by the way so the certus quartz essence and the fluix essence and all that stuff because we have that associated and inside of uh, one me interface here i can actually use this whole thing now so if i have anything that requires those things i can go ahead and process these so the next time that we go ahead and do recording we're going to start trying to hook up some machines to this um i will dabble and i'm stressing the word dabble but i will dabble in um potentially even upgrading our ender io machines so that's going to be like your alloy smelter your sag mill and stuff like that but that will be the game plan so Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. And if you would like to get notifications, hit the bell thingy. I have hiccups or something right now. I'm sorry. During the outro. Ugh! Okay. Anywho. I think I fought them back. So <laughs> I can fight them. I can suppress them with sheer will. All right. Anywho. Um, yeah. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Most importantly, make sure that you take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful, safe day. And uh, until next time, guys, take care. Ciao for now.